collective. It's a bit uh, there's a lot of entropy, as you may have uh, have seen. Um, but for us, it's a quite a nice place because it's it's nice. It's a bit outside of Paris, so we have a lot of space. There's a, the canal over there, so I hope you will enjoy the location. Uh, so the local team, um, we are a small team with a lot of volunteers that help along the way. Um, so me, Hope, Daniele, Dash, and V. Uh, most of us have a yellow, t uh, yellow, uh, orange T-shirt. So you can uh, ask us if you have uh, any issues. So we have uh, quite a lot of sponsors. Maybe that's another high score uh, from previous years. Um, so the main sponsor is Isaac, uh, which gave quite a lot of, uh, of money to make this possible. Um, APC also funded uh, some travel grants. Uh, Yellow Liazo um, sponsored a, f a, dedicati a dedicated fiber for the event, which is uh, really nice, another high score apparently. Uh, and Gitoyen is a non-profit uh, network operator in, in Paris, in France, that uh, is donating bandwidth and IP addresses. Uh, Netflix is handling the live streams and the recording. Um, and Tetan, Tras, Kani, Exocat, Open Communication donated uh, some amount of money. So thank you for uh, all the sponsors. Sorry? Open Communications, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we have a lot of endorsers. Um, thank you, Felipe. Uh, I think you did the, the work of calling out everybody uh, to endorse the event. Uh, and now a bit of history. Uh, Philippe, do you want to talk about it? And then I will talk more about the practical uh, aspects. I think you can use this. Let's check. Yeah, yeah it's okay. So hello, everybody. Uh, um, my name is Philippe, you and maybe you also know Paul. We are, we are just giving some history on the past editions of Battle Mesh. For some of you that are new to, to Battle Mesh, we Battle Mesh started um, in 2009, so it was uh, 10 years ago uh, in, in Paris. These are some of the, of the logos uh, of previous e editions. On the last editions, we tried to make the logo more, more or less uh, the same uh, across the editions. Last year, it was a little bit different. We had a wireless mashup, uh, so it was a, a, um, an event with a slightly different um, uh, environment, but we'll, we'll talk about it later. So the first edition was in Paris uh, ten, 10 years ago. It was a very small meeting. I think no, nobody of, of us was, was there. We just had 12 participants, so it was just a very, very small uh, meeting in, in France. Then it started to grow. On the second edition, it was in Brussels. We moved to 25, and we broadened the, the, the number of countries that were present at the, the Battle Mesh. The third one was in Italy, with these very fancy Fonero routers, <laughs> and about 40 participants. Then it continued to grow. And Barcelona, this is the 60 people picture. The number five was in Greece. So it kept going across the, the Europe, uh, um, around 70 participants. Then he went to Denmark, which we had a very nice test bed outdoors with moving nodes. I, th I think we had nodes in bicycles and they, they were moving across <laughs> the campus. This, this was at the university. Then in number seven, it was Leipzig. Very nice pictures as well. Yes. Then in Maribor, which we reached 90 participants. Uh, I'm not sure. I was not there in that, that meeting. So you have the T-shirt of <laughs> number eight. <laughs> number nine was in Porto, which was this edition. We reached around 100 participants, and this these were the the routers that we used for the for the test bed, and a very nice boat trip. Then I will move to Paul. He's talking about the 11th edition. No, no, doing a fine summary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
uh, yeah, V10 was in Vienna two years ago. Uh, we had a nice museum that was also pretty pretty nice, and also a working test bed uh, at the third day of the, of, of, of the bell mesh, I think. Um, maybe for some some of you who are new, the reason why Felipe and and me are doing this is because we have these these mentors, so people who volunteer to make it happen to sort of find a next year's host. And Felipe and Claudio, who, who is coming on on Friday. on Friday, and myself are trying to, yeah, push, the, take over this responsibility. But it's, yeah, um, let's switch to V V11, right? Yeah. Which was this combination of the wireless community weekend, which is always happening at the same place and at the same time in Germany, Berlin, in the, at the sea base. So we, we put these two events together, Battle Mesh and the Wireless Community Weekend. The turnout was really nice. Way more than 100 people. Uh, the food was also <laughs> respectable. Uh, yeah. What, yeah what? I think this finishes the, the presentation. So we are on number 12. Uh, and first of all, it, it was a very pleasant surprise that we got this very enthusiastic local team to push this f this 12th edition forward. So we are very happy that you are hosting this event. And <laughs> applause. <laughs> so now I'm heading back to you, yeah. Baptiste. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for pushing us. <laughs> we, won't have we wouldn't have done, done that otherwise. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, history. Uh, so now we will move to more practical, um, pra practical things. Oh. Uh, so the schedule uh, is available on the wiki. Uh, we also have uh, an ICS feed that you can subscribe to, so that you uh, can have the calendar on your phone, and it should be updated when we update it. Uh, I will maybe just show it quickly, uh, especially today. Uh, let's see. Does it work? Kind of. Yeah. So um, today is relatively light. Um, so we'll have, um, uh, just after this presentation, uh, Deborah will present on communication struggles during the Columbia guerrilla. Uh, then Isa will uh, do a, a panel on women in mesh networks. And uh, Elena will also talk this afternoon. And Isa will hold the workshop uh, follow up to the to the panel. And then I, I won't detail everything, but you can find uh, all uh, all talks and uh, and panels on the wiki. Uh, I think this afternoon uh, there will be um, a, a session to discuss the testbed. Uh, so if you if you want to to set up a testbed or to participate, uh, maybe Felipe, you want to yeah. organize it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I plan to add it. Uh, so if you want to use or make the testbed, uh, it will be this afternoon. That's it. Um, yeah, so every every talk on panel will be recorded on live streams. Um, if on the video, all videos will be licensed on the Creative Commons uh, license. So if you don't want to be recorded or if the license doesn't fit you, um, please talk to us and you, we won't record you, basically. Uh, so for lunch, um, so lunch is every day between 12.30 uh, and 2. Um, and it's at the restaurant downstairs. So basically, uh, it's, it costs around 10 euros, and everybody has, has to pay for its own, uh, for its own lunch. Uh, but it's really important that you register in advance, okay? so that we can tell the restaurant how many people will eat and which kind of, of meal. So in the morning, uh, go to the, um, to the front desk and really register and we will provide the menu. It's really important if you want to eat. Of course, if you want to not to eat or to eat somewhere else, you can. But it's, it's quite nice. I mean, it's, it's outside. We have um, some tables and so on. So it's a good uh, opportunity to, to meet people also. Uh, dinner is self-organized, which is a nice way of uh, saying that we don't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a bit of leftovers from uh, from yesterday. So maybe you can use that, or you can yeah order pizza, go in Paris, whatever you want. 
Uh, we have coffee and tea. Uh, just uh, help yourself. Um, it should it should it should work all day. We have a uh, club matin. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. No, no, it once it's fine to find club matin. At some point it was difficult, but now uh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, we are supposed to have some local beer, but um, it's not available right now. I won't go into details. <laughs> we had some logistics <laughs> issue. <laughs> it's in the building, but we somebody lost the key. Uh, that's why I, I will say. <laughs> yeah, if you have lockpicking skills, we're interested. <laughs> Okay, so we have some uh, goodies. So maybe you saw these uh, stickers. So help yourself. It's free. It's for you. You can take. Uh, well, don't take a hundred, but if you <laughs> if you want to take ten uh, for your space or whatever, help yourself. Everybody can have a, a eco cup, a plastic cup with the, the battle mesh logo and so on. And we have um, a printer so that you can put your name on it. And then we have T-shirts. Um, so the orange t-shirts are mostly for lo the local team to find us. We're very shiny. Uh, and the, the other t-shirts are white. Um, we sell them because it's kind of quite a lot of money. Um, but you can pay any price you want. The recommended price is 7 euros. But if you want to put more, if you have more money, you can. Unless if you don't have a lot of money, it's, it's fine. On the whole, I mean, in our community in France, we do that quite a lot, even for services and so on. And on the whole, people give more than the recommended price. So don't hesitate if you're a bit, uh, if you don't have that much money to give less, it's, it's really fine. And uh, yeah, if you didn't register for a t-shirt, um, we'll wait until the end of the week because we don't have really enough, um, we don't have a lot more than what uh, you um, registered uh, for the event. Okay, so I'm coming in the end. Uh, if you want to help, it's possible. Uh, so one of the um, of the thing what you can do is uh, a chairperson for the talks, like uh, make sure that everything works, welcoming the person, and so on. Uh, it's not a lot of work normally. Um, if you want to help us manage the tea, coffee, small food, and so on, you come talk to us, uh, ensure that the toilets stay clean, and so on, that there is paper, and and then on Sunday afternoon we will um, tear everything down. And we'll need some help at this point. So if you if you haven't left yet, uh, you can also help on on Sunday. Okay, last uh, the social event. Um, so it will happen on f on Thursday evening. We will go to see uh, um, an exposition um, at the Gaiety Lyric. It's Computer Girls: History, Gender, Technology. It's, uh, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, it looks uh, quite nice from what over told me. So it's in Paris. So since um, we decided to put it in the evening, so that basically we will leave around uh, 5.15, 5.30. We'll make two groups. And then um, the goal is to stay in Paris afterwards. We won't come back here because it's quite far away. So basically, we'll visit between 6 and uh, 8.30. And then you're in Paris, so there's places to drink, to eat. You, you, or probably some self-organized uh, social events afterwards. That's it. Uh, some last advice. Uh, you're in Paris, so watch your bags and, and stuff. Uh, you can you can get uh, yeah. Uh, don't leave anything too precious in the building uh, for the night, okay? Because the 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 room is closed, but it's not completely uh, secure. So don't leave your laptop here, okay? Take it with you. You can leave your routers. It's uh, it's a bit less uh, prone to to stealing maybe. No, normally nobody will work in, but you, you never know. Uh, if you take photos and some people are um, really on the photos, please ask them. Some people don't want to, to appear in photos, especially if you publish them on the internet afterwards. Uh, be nice to each other, listen to other people. Um, I mean, let's make sure that it's, uh, everybody enjoys the events. The event. And yeah, that's it. Let's enjoy this event. Thank you.
Thank you.